One of the most important physical needs is water. So in the suburbs, what do you do when the water will become contaminated? The places where we can get water from are the hot water tanks, rain barrels, and nearby lakes and ponds. But how do we know if the water has viruses, bacteria, cysts, or harmful chemicals? All the various tests on the market, like this one, are limited in certain areas, and therefore doing a complete test for everything is going to be very expensive. Treating the water for just in case is the best approach. After reviewing the different types of water treatment, such as solar, a clear bottle in the sun for six hours, UV, for example, SteriPen, chemicals such as one drop, water filters like Life Straw or Aqua Gear, and heating, specifically boiling the water. It is clear that boiling the water for 20 minutes is the safest of all the options. Not only does it get rid of pathogens, but also gets rid of chlorine and chloramine. The only issue is that boiling water in itself is unable to get rid of lead or fluoride contaminated water. It would be a good idea to filter the water before boiling it. Now, not everyone has 20 minutes to boil water. Therefore, the quickest and the next safest option is to use a good filter. But viruses less than 0.2 microns are able to get through. Then again, not every water source has viruses less than 0.2 microns. One big advantage of higher end filters is that it can remove lead and fluoride where boiling is unable. So make sure your filter has this claim. So for our family, we have the water bulb. It's BPA free to help store water for 16 weeks. We have a large water filter for our family. It's a life straw. We have a couple of chemicals that can get rid of some bacteria and viruses but they can't get rid of big, harmful chemicals. Hope you enjoyed this video on how to treat the water. Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for keeping us safe and blessing the people watching. In Yeshua's name, amen. So until next time, keep smiling.